Hi guys, in this small video I'll show you how to solve some of the first problems you come across in topic 7, differential calculus. Sometimes we just refer to this as calculus. Um, calculus or differential calculus or how to differentiate a function. It's all about how to let me scroll down a bit. How to describe the graph of a function, it's pretty hard. The trick is instead we'll look at the tangent at different points. So look at the slope or the gradient of the tangent and from that explain how the graph uh, grows or declines at certain points. That's what this topic is all about. You can use your graphic display calculator for some of uh, to, to help you with some of the problems. Um, here it says your GDC can you can draw the curve so that you can see how the gradient changes. You can get the value of dy by dx for a given value. You can find that y coordinate corresponding to any given x coordinate and solve any questions that arise in the problem. In this video I'll talk about the first two bullet points here. This is from the book, page 595. Example 29. You've been given a function f of x equals 2x squared minus x plus 1 over x. You need to differentiate the this function with respect to x. Uh, so um, differentiate means finding the rule that would give you the gradient of the tangent at any point. This is what this means, differentiate the function. Um, after that we'll have to find this is red f prime of 3, meaning the slope or the gradient of the tangent where x equals 3. Okay, and I'll skip this c part here in this video. So, <coughs> whoops, this is the function f of x equals 2x squared minus x plus uh, x to the power of negative 1. That's not what it said, it said 1 divided by x. Well, these two are the same right x 1 divided by x and x to the power of negative 1 that's the same thing this when it's written like this it's easier to differentiate because we have a rule saying when you differentiate a function like this you differentiate term by term remember they're called terms when you have plus and minus between them so this is a term this is a term and this is a term first you differentiate this term there's a number in front of the x squared, you can't touch this, leave that. And then you differentiate x squared. You differentiate x to the power of something by this number here at the top is called the exponent. Take the exponent and put it in front and then subtract 1 from the exponent. So you have 2 multiplied by 2 raised to the power of 1. 2 times 2 is 4 x to the power of 1, it doesn't say x to the power of 1 because we're lazy, but now this is differentiated. Then we write a minus, then you differentiate x, and x differentiated is 1. Then actually you should write a plus, and then you should differentiate this, x to the power of negative 1. Again, you differentiate by taking the exponent and put it in front, that would become a minus 1, raised to the power of and then you subtract 1 here and you get minus 2. And this can be rewritten as 4x minus 1 minus x to the power of negative 2. The negative in the exponent means put it in the denominator. This minus means put everything in the denominator. So it becomes 1 divided by and then what's left x to the power of 2. So this is the rule that will give me um, the gradient of the tangent wherever I want to. Feed this function with an x and it will give me the gradient. And you are being asked to find 
the gradient of the tangent where x equals 3, and this is the general rule, so we just plot in... No, they don't do that here. If we want to, you can plot in... Let's do that. Calculator. Here it is. This is the general rule. If we want to find the gradient where x equals 3, I have from 4 multiplied by 3, minus 1, minus... 1 divided by 3 squared. Is that correct? Yeah, 10.9. Okay. Uh, now, so this is how it works. I can calculate it, but your calculator can also do that for you. If I put in the function here, what was it? V two x squared. Whoops, clear that. Two x squared minus x plus x to the power of negative one. Let's try to graph that. You get the same. Uh, graph as in the window. I can zoom in a bit if I want to. Let me take, here they have 1, 2, 3, 4 from minus 4 to 4 and zoom fit. Deep, 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 deep. Zoom fit. We should get something that looks like this. Okay, yeah. So, um, if I go take the menu Calculate, I can find dy by dx. dy by dx, dx is the same as f prime. If I hit Enter, I get the cross error, and it will ask me, where do you want me to tell you the gradient of the tangent where the cross error is? And actually, I wanted where x equals 3, but it's pretty hard to find, it's not accurate, but you can just press 3 and BAM! It will tell you dy by dx right there is 10.9. You can also go into draw menu and then have the tangent drawn. Again it's the same thing, I can move the crosshair or I can hit 3, draw the tangent where x equals 3 there it is. And you can see where x equals 3, it will tell you the equation of the tangent. It is 10.88888x plus, it says plus minus, so it's 10.88888x minus 17.33 something. And this is the number 10.9, that is the gradient. This is in the gradient intercept form. So this is the gradient, I can read the gradient of right here, 10.9, and that's the same number as you see here. So you've calculated the gradient in three different ways, either finding the general rule, differentiate the formula, your calculator cannot do this for you, but you need to know how to. So. Uh, that's one way of doing it, finding the general rule and put in 3. In this case it was 3. Or you can find, go into menu, oh sorry, calculate menu and find dy by dx. Or you can draw the function, it's under draw here, and choose tangent. Three different ways of finding the answer. Okay.